It was melting hot in Melbourne, a hundred in the shade if you could find it. Even the demure princess detected a touch of dampness on the upper lip. It was one of those classic Australian scorchers. If the sun didn't get you, then the flies did. But the cool conservatoire of Melbourne's music school was to prove even more testing for the royal couple, as Prince Charles met up with an old friend. Henri Tuzo, professor of cello, remembered the prince had once played the instrument. Would he like to try again? The prince suspected a setup. <laughs> but he graciously agreed to blow a couple of notes. Sufficiently in tune to avoid being called a whining pom. Then everyone decided it was the princess's turn, except perhaps the princess. She shifted about looking rather reluctant before the persuasive professor led her off to the piano, apparently her forte. Without further fuss, she dropped her bag on the floor and plunged into Rachmaninoff's complicated concerto number two. fingers finally failed her, the princess looked for an escape, but Henri the maestro felt a congratulatory kiss was in order. Now it wasn't only the southern sun that reddened her cheeks as the blushing princess almost ran for cover, clearly embarrassed at her musical debut.